Hey Joystick News fans, in today's special report, we're tackling a hot topic that's been brewing in the gaming community, the possibility of Resident Evil stepping into the open world genre. That's right, Capcom's iconic survival horror franchise, known for its tight corridors and heart-stopping jump scares, might be expanding its horizons in a way that's both exciting and, for some, a bit worrisome. Let's dive deep into what this means for Resident Evil and why, in the grand scheme of things, this evolution isn't just feasible, it's downright thrilling. Resident Evil's open world potential. First off, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The re-engine, Capcom's powerhouse behind recent Resident Evil titles, is no stranger to vast, intricately detailed environments as seen in Dragon's Dogma 2. The engine's capability to render expansive landscapes teeming with life, or in Resident Evil's case, undeath suggests that an open-world Resident Evil isn't just a pipe dream. It's a tantalizing reality waiting to unfold. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Resident Evil is all about the claustrophobic tension. How can an open world maintain that? Hear me out. Resident Evil has always played with the idea of open exploration within its confined settings, from the labyrinthine Spencer Mansion to the decrepit Baker residence in Resident Evil 7. These games give players a taste of freedom while funneling them into nerve-wracking encounters. Imagine that freedom expanded, not diluted, across a city like Raccoon City, teeming with undead horrors and bio-organic weapons lurking around every corner. Innovation through expansion. Consider the masterpieces of open-world design in recent years, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Both games managed to extend their worlds without losing the essence that made them special. They reinvented themselves by breaking the mold, not by fitting into it. This is the key Capcom could turn to unlock an open-world Resident Evil that retains the series' core while offering something new and groundbreaking. Picture this, an open-world raccoon city fully explorable with narratives weaving through its streets, secrets tucked away in its darkest corners, and survival horror elements that keep you on the edge of your seat. Or imagine the tension of a day-to-night cycle where the infected grow more aggressive under the cover of darkness, pushing players to strategize and plan their explorations with care. Balancing horror with exploration. An open-world Resident Evil could enrich the storytelling and gameplay by offering a broader canvas for Capcom to work its dark magic. It's about crafting a world where every alleyway could hide salvation or damnation, where each building tells a story of the outbreak's devastation, and where players live out their own survival horror narratives within the game's framework. Capcom's recent track record shows a developer that learns from its past, innovates upon it, and isn't afraid to take bold steps forward. The Resident Evil remakes, along with Resident Evil 7 and Village, showcase a series that's constantly evolving, pushing boundaries while staying true to its roots. So, is Resident Evil going open world a stretch? Not at all. It's a natural evolution for a series that has always been about exploring and surviving in environments that are as beautiful as they are deadly. With Capcom's knack for innovation and the re-engine's capabilities, the potential for an open-world Resident Evil is not only exciting, but could very well be the next big leap for survival horror. And there you have it, folks, our deep dive into the possibilities of an open-world Resident Evil. What do you think? Are you excited about the prospect or do you have reservations? Let us know in the comments below. As always, keep it locked on Joystick News for the latest in gaming news, reviews and in-depth analyzes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest videos. Until next time, stay safe and remember survival is just the beginning.